I mean, monthly salary probably is definitely addictive. Like today, today, today was a payday. So obviously, that <laughs> feeling. <laughs> Over the years, I had seen a lot of things going downhill after mm-hmm. I lost my father, especially. I think that 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 obviously made me more emotionally matured and more stronger. Vikas Narayan sir is a retired DGP, so he was very clear. The moment he mo- mo- <laughs> you know went out of the room, he was like, he is ready to serve tomorrow. Mm. So I used to dedicate thirty minutes of my life every, for last two years. 10:30 to 11 just to overthink i mean i i mean i'm i'm, I'm rather romanticizing <laughs> this but but yeah i mean uh, i i i i really love talking to you as well i was studying from the point of view ki isse how would i clear the exam mm. primarily and secondarily to gain knowledge so lean on to a support system and be very vocal when you need help and do not shy mm. So hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Topper Talks and today we have with us Animesh Pradhan who secured AIR2 in Civil Services Exam 2023 now before we go any further uh, i would like to very clearly point out animesh was not associated with us on any of the courses he was just there with us for the interview guidance program and that i feel is a very important piece of information kyunki matlab the world we live in so hi animesh how are you doing extremely happy i mean top of the world it's still i'm still processing the news but but uh, extremely happy so uh, i think the result came out on the 16th right is the 30th what has your sort of uh, itinerary been for the last two weeks i mean i think my calendars have been blocked from like 6 am in the morning till 12 in the uh, night. midnight so it's like <laughs> and uh, this after i have been turning no to a lot of people mm. uh, to most of the people because it's just not possible to be f- there pre- like be present physically or otherwise throughout the day and for me also it's, it's new as a person i am a i think i'm a people pleaser so i i <laughs> find it difficult uh, to say no to a lot of people mm. but uh, yeah the itinerary has been extremely uh, packed and uh, i'm i'm getting the burn of it abhi thoda and it's been physically tiring to do hafte mein i think uh, about a week of it you travel to odisha the rest of the time you yes. were in delhi or the band i think you have shared your story on a number of places so we will not go too much into the story part of it we'll cover the you know other side of prep so ek basic cheez se shuru karte hain arvesh ki you are somebody who had a good job right as a comm science engineer and as like working in one of the you know big psus in india what made you think of ki yaar maza nahi aa raha kuch aur karte hain i mean i you see uh, never made me feel ki idhar maza nahi aa raha and then we should i should switch it because i think it was extremely clear i want to become an is officer right from childhood so uh, from 9 10th i had this mindset ki i'll either choose engineering medical mm. i was a pcmb student uh, pcmb yes i had 100 and 100 in biology <laughs> that that i keep on boasting everyone that i, was, I had mm. full scores in bio mm. but uh, yeah so so i i had done well in both uh, medical and engineering and then I, i knew that i'll take up one of these jo least amount of time mein ho jayega then i would get a job and job ke sath i'll do it and uh, i was like matlab this was, like i'm very fortunate ki my professional trajectory is something that i had planned in my mind mm. so it was never ki iusc mein maza nahi aaya and to rather iusc was something jo ki had even pushed me like in a positive light because uh, coming from it background it's always a misconception ki psu mein zyada opportunities nahi hote for comm science graduates Mm. fortunately i was in a team called strategic information system that drove the digital initiatives in the company okay extremely interesting stuff i had i used i'm still working on ai ml in the oil and gas space mm. we uh, like i as a part of the team had even published two research papers during my tenure here i was so very very interesting stuff that the team does so it even like felt ki abhi itne limited opportunities mein uh, when i can do a lot of things if mm. the canvas gets broader and bigger which i always dreamt of mm. so then uh, put everything put your heart and soul into the preparation do you think you've been lucky 
in your prep and in life a lot no in life no uh, in preparation yes how have you been lucky in prep i think i mean uh, a lot of people ask me ki how did you do with the job i think mm. since i was in ioc mm. or like in a well settled job as they say i had that peace of mind i and had matlab i won't say well settled job aaj ki date mein koi exist kar raha hai kahin pe i mean if you if you see uh, the bigger psus the uh, the rates of the people switch their jobs is too low because ek to uh, you get like i was posted in delhi headquarters hmm. uh, a good pay and uh, there's a job security so wo good work life balance so it kind of feels ki theek hai this is this is something which is hunky dory hai hmm. but uh, But but as as I was saying कि वो वो goal हमेशा से था so it it always drove me कि in spite of whatever it is I'll prepare and when I say I was lucky it's because I had this peace of mind from my professional life कि ये I'll I have a good salary that's being uh, coming to my account every uh, month there's a financial independence I do not have to worry about a lot of things and uh, I think वो थोड़ा pressure कम किया था so That's why I was lucky. Think, uh, like uh, Nassim Nicholas Talib, have you heard of him? I I haven't. Uh, have you heard of <laughs> I mean, monthly salary probably is definitely addictive. Like today, today, today was a payday. So obviously, that feeling. I mean, yeah, it's a nice feeling to like yeah. you know, wake up and see that yeah, it's so zero extra. Oh, yeah, be bank. Exactly, account. exactly. And like uh, that also sort of uh, connects to another question that I like asking. once you come to the other side of uh, the whole debate is what do you think is the future of civil services in india whether do you think upsc is going to be or this exam per se is going to be more relevant or is it going to be that let's say the entrepreneurship ka jo ab naya trend aa raha hai that with shark tank with all of these things that people want to get into that side of things which do you think will be uh, the more relevant sort of uh, trend maybe 10 years down the line I think there should not be any comparison with between these two. Mm. One, I think, very unnecessary hate is being thrown <laughs> towards UPSC and UPSC aspirants. Abhi, I don't think the, hate per se is thrown. मतलब it is more. I think वो बीच बीच में कभी बार hate आता है, but for the most part, I think there is a high amount of respect for people who are preparing for UPSC because it is seen as one of the tough exams. Very true, and also having said that, it's very. it's something very undesirable that we tend to romanticize the struggles or uh, and uh, everything around upsc with the pop culture films and everything that mm. drops by uh, very very often mm. but like i'll obviously have a bias when i answer this but i think uh, it's it's better that we are coming up with the, these new trends and this mm. new profession that we look up to be it entrepreneurship through shark tank or whatever mm. but uh, in spite of that will grow i think the future of bureaucracy is extremely bright mm. in the sense that i mean uh, a lot of things are changing and will change adapting to the newer trends that would come mm. a lot of technology that i see will have to be used mm. i mean i i see bureaucrats turning into technocrats which mm. which would be the uh, demand of the entire system and uh, a lot of red tape is in the babu culture and everything are evading that that i can see and i can mm. see people talking about which is a good thing for sure mm. but i i don't see the relevance of bureaucracy declining in near or medium term future because mm. uh, india still as a country would require bureaucracy in its all capacity mm. so but 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 it's it's wonderful that we are having an alternate discussion where people are asking why is it just that people want to become bureaucrat and not an entrepreneur that debate is also very essential hmm. so what do you think lies at the crux of this debate matlab because i think somewhere or the other dono side pe struggle hai 
at one place we're saying that we shouldn't glorify the struggle at yet at like being an entrepreneur is not easy matlab usme jitna struggle hai, it's the same as civil services agar main ek abstract level pe baat karu to jaise ki aapko ye doubt hota hai ki bhai mera prelims clear hoga ki nahi hoga mera mains hoga ki nahi hoga you know what am i what what if i the thing that i'm trying doesn't work out it's the same thing as being an entrepreneur aapne ek product banaya maybe chale nahi chale aap kuch soch ke bana rahe ho aap kuch kar rahe ho but obviously the feedback loop as an entrepreneur is faster क्योंकि वहां पे कस्टमर आपके मुंह पे गाली दे देगा ट्रू बट आल्सो आई थिंक द अनसर्टेनिटी लेवल इन एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप इज मच मोर देन यूपीएससी बिकॉज़ यू नो कि द थ्री स्टेजेस है दीस आर द सब्जेक्ट्स दैट विल टॉक ये सिलेबस है सो देयर्स दिस द रूटीन व्हिच इज देयर बट एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप में इट्स इट्स देयर्स अ लॉट ऑन योर प्लेट एंड देयर्स आल्सो नॉट ऑन योर प्लेट मतलब यू कैन नॉट पुट ऑन योर प्लेट बाय योरसेल्फ so but uh, i think that is very similar to how you talk about civil services also isn't it ki bhai civil services mein bhi jaise hum baat karte hai ki there's a to do list and there's a big not to do list right so similarly as you're saying ki bhai jaise on uh, civil services mein there's a routine there is uh, ki bhai habit hai wo cheeze chal rahi hai kahin na kahin aap jo established entrepreneurs hain unki baat sunoge to they also talk about the same things ki bhai yahan pe bhi wahi hai day in and day out you have to get up show up prioritize and like that's the day so what do you think is the similarity between the two i mean a lot i mean if you think about like very i have must thoda sociology padha hai to uska angle se if you see ki privileges work hmm. in both of these cases hmm. like i had my own share of privileges and disprivileges and similar with the entrepreneurs yeah same things about uncertainty hmm. you will never know ki what would click and what would not Hmm. and third is about the time frame you never know ki kab success aayega aur aayega aayega bhi nahi hmm. uh and then fourth is that there will be always an external pressure ki leave this ki uh, do something better like an Thoda entrepreneur like, le lo. yes yes do something more stable so i mean uh, these are two very similar things but should not be compared and as any ki if you are why doing not? UPS, why not compare them I mean, it, it's it's basically comparing uh, a wonderful fruit to a wonderful vegetable. Like both are essential, <laughs> but uh, beautiful elements in their own uh, uh, mm. like species or genus. But still, to a certain extent, I can compare that. You know, both of them are cultivated. Both of them require nutrition, soil, air, water. But the basics, to be carried, can't you? Convergence is, but it should not be that. कहीं ना कहीं वो जो बेसिक प्रिंसिपल थे सिविल सर्विस वाली हम बात करते हैं कि डिसिप्लिन चाहिए होता है कि भाई डेली बेसिस पे कंसिस्टेंसी चाहिए आप कहीं पे भी आ जाओ मतलब बी इट दैट लेट से आई एम ए टीचर so then i have to keep learning new things in order to teach mm. in there also i need to have a good consistency ki bhai agar mere ko consistent basis pe nayi information nahi mil rahi to then i get stale i get boring right and the same thing applies for somebody who's making content on youtube ya kahin pe bhi kuch bhi to somewhere or the other kuch basic principles hame lene hi chahiye to uh, <clears throat> with this i would like to ask you ki ab jaise humne baat kari thi ki that there are some common principles prep ke jo ki i'm sure you've talked about at a end number of different places what are the things that you consciously avoided during preparation ki bhai yaar ye cheez nahi karni hai thoda consciously and subconsciously is not talking to anyone who was in the upsc culture or upsc mm. community that's because for the first month uh, when i uh, got posted in delhi tab ek month ke liye i had gone uh, to old rajendra nagar uh, mm. every weekend uh, and joined a library and i understood ki every time i was going there i used to get anxiety bahut mm. kharab so then i understood that ki since i have a different situation both personally and professionally i'll not be able to compare my scores my journey with anyone else mm. so i'll i'll keep this as much as isolated as possible mm. and uh, i'll i'll uh, compare my performance based on my own performances and reference ke liye see topper copies and could mm. sell try but not ki if there's a study group and there's a community that i'm uh, uh, focusing on ki unke scores kya hai what what type of 
test series they are giving what kind of books they are reading hmm. that i consciously try to avoid okay and uh, second uh, what i uh, avoided i i don't know i what what exactly what i avoided that this is something that's the only thing that comes to my mind abhi ओके तो मतलब दिस इज ऑब्वियसली समथिंग दैट यू कॉन्शियसली अवॉइडेड कि भैया अब नहीं जाना तो मतलब वुड यू से दैट यू आर एन एक्सट्रोवर्ट और एन इंट्रोवर्ट आई हैव ऑलवेज बीन एन एक्सट्रोवर्ट पर्सन थ्रू आउट स्कूल कॉलेज वर्क एंड यूपीएससी प्रिपरेशन मेड मी अ बिट इंट्रोवर्टेड दिल्ली वुड हैव सीन एन इंट्रोवर्टेड एनिमेश बट राउरकेला एंड तालसेर वुड हैव सीन एन एक्सट्रीमली एक्सट्रोवर्टेड किड I think that's very similar to how I also experienced my UPSC journey. कि मतलब वो जो सेम वो दिल्ली जाके वो मेरे को लगा कि यार ये नहीं जमता. True. And uh, somewhere or the other, that sort of made me very happy. कि मतलब मैं अपने घर पे बैठा हूँ, मैं अपने घर पे बैठ के पढ़ाई कर रहा हूँ. And like I'm happy. I'm learning. Exactly. Like I used to get this एक satisfaction of minding my own business. Hmm. वो खुद को मैं बोलता था यार like I'm minding my own business. This I'm like my actions are not affecting anyone else. Hmm. Anyone else's actions are not affecting me. This is a good space to be. It's a very peaceful space to be. Correct. Correct. And like उसके पहले और उसके बाद I think I have missed that peaceful space somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. I think uh, one of the things that I used to when I was reflecting back on कि भाई मतलब you know I've given six attempts man मतलब when I started out I don't think I ever thought कि मतलब मैं छह attempt दूँगा but by the end of it जब मैं एक पांच दे दिए थे and then I had sort of exited the journey selection हो गया service नहीं मिली X Y Z I'm doing a job in some startup then giving another attempt seemed like such a great escape from the you know everyday life ki bhai ha matlab main wapas jaunga main apne kamre mein baithunga shanti koi kisi se baat karne ki zarurat nahi hai so did you experience that sort of a thing in your preparation ki bhai matlab mere ko ye shanti pasand hai mujhe kahin nahi jana mujhe kuch nahi karna and i think as a kid like i knew ki padhai was the most easiest thing hmm i as in in upsc also like because everything around me was changing everything around me was extremely depressing dull and mm. i knew this one thing certain is ki agar main lakshmikant padunga for one hour one and a half hour to it's it's i know ki what I'll, what i can expect from that so so wo, this is, it was very isolated but very peaceful environment while i was just studying and also mm. i think i used studying for distracting myself from a lot of other mental health issues that i was going through okay. so for me for me uh, the entire preparation was preparation when i was studying like for those uh, hours it was extremely peaceful like studying today also i'll say mm. i remember jab school days mein i used to feel uh, sad or disappointed i used to do rd sharma because uh, <laughs> that used to be my that used to calm me down same with upsc so which has been your favorite book in prep lakshmi gand for sure did you try dd basu No, I I got I I had this multiple of times. I thought that probably I'll do, but mm. time neither. I did not have time. Hmm. So, uh, like if we start from the absolute basics, ki when was the first time that you picked up a UPSC book for serious preparation? Uh, before you gave your prelims in May of twenty twenty three. So I had purchased my first book, Lakshmi Kant. When I was in my eighth semester, there was a COVID year. Mm. I was a placement coordinator, but still, just to I thought I'll start preparation. Mm. Usi time pe only. Uh, I had that 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 must be month two thousand twenty one June July uh, types. Okay. But then uh, I had to join IOC. Hmm. and uh, very fun thing is that uh, i was 101 at that time and uh, i was like when i was had come into the college and everything it was very late part of my graduation hmm. and uh, two and half months me uh, i had to join i was in it was a, it had a medical test and udhar the bmi that they wanted was 30 hmm. and my bmi was over 32 33 bottle when something and i had to lose 20 kg so I lost twenty kgs in two and a half months. Insane in calorie deficit, almost hospitalized thrice. So Lakshmi Gan khareeda, but I could not study because Obviously. because of this. The entire yeah. day I was just running, eating nothing. Hmm. 
and then i got into ioc and then october may had again picked up the book started mm. studying it and then uh, there was new job to thoda euphoria tha delhi naya na adjusting shifting rooms and all and then december 2021 my mother got diagnosed with mm. cancer then it uh, everything around me changed uh, the the entire diagnosis itself took a month mm. to uh, give us a clear picture but the entire january i that was in third wave uh, covid came third wave came and we had work from home mm. for one month i was spending my entire day and night only in bed like not getting up and doing nothing and then i felt ki uh, there's something wrong with me and then i'll have to seek help mm. february is when i started uh, full fledged preparation february is when i started taking therapy as well so full fledgedly then i would have started in february january mm. february you say time but 2022 okay. but the first book i would have purchased in my eighth semester may june 2021 matlab so effectively you bought the book but like for a good 6 to 9 10 months you didn't study because of a number of things were happening yes. are you somebody who has always had like a great amount of mental fortitude or was it something that you developed along the way i think i mean obviously developed along the way i mean 3 years back if anybody would have said me that despite of these circumstances i would be able to even mm. study clearing is even secondary mm. then then i would not have believed but i think uh, over the years i had seen a lot of things going downhill after mm. i lost my father especially i think that 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 obviously made me more emotionally matured and more stronger mm. <clears throat> i think wo hota hai kahin na kahin uh uh I also lost my mother when I was 16 and uh I don't think I processed that for like a good 3 4 years. Well, it takes time and well I feel for you man and uh, still I feel you are a very very strong individual to be able to like you know share these things and come up and kudos to you man I'm sure you'll touch great heights because ये नॉर्मल नहीं है इतना मेंटल फोर्टीट्यूड नहीं होता इंसान टूट जाता है बहुत इंसान टूट जाते हैं एंड लाइक यू से कि भाई इसमें ये सोच पाना कि मतलब क्लियर कर लोगे लेट अलोन की मतलब मैं पढ़ाई कर लूंगा आई थिंक दैट्स समथिंग सो लाइक व्हाट वाज इट अलोंग द वे दैट यू नो हेल्प यू डील विद दीज थिंग्स मतलब थेरेपी ऑब्वियसली कैन बी वन ऑफ दोज थिंग्स बट अपार्ट फ्रॉम थेरेपी वट वॉज इट दैट यू आर डूइंग वॉज इट समथिंग कि भाई नहीं मेडिटेट कर रहे हो एक्सरसाइज कर रहे हो क्या मतलब क्या था वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग सपोर्ट सिस्टम माई सिस्टर वॉज दन टू टूक केयर ऑफ ए लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स ऑन द ट्रीटमेंट साइड एंड आई हैव दिस स्मॉल स्कूल फ्रेंड ग्रुप हु हैड चेक डॉन मी लिटरली एवरी डे एंड वी वुड हैव वीडियो कॉल डीच अदर एवरी ऑल्टरनेट डे फॉर लाइक लेट्स ए फिफ्टीन मिनट्स ट्वेंटी मिनट्स एंड uh so so they were like sorts of great support apart from that i used to do dancing as well so that's something that might mm. have helped and did you do expressive arts therapy ya matlab kya cbt wagera kar rahe the no it was usual counseling session okay uh but later part mein after i lost my mother this month i was suggested to go for uh, psychiatrist and all but Fifteenth, uh, could this was the thing which she recommended both strongly. Mm. I had a session on fifteenth April, but sixteenth, the result came. It's a happier distraction. Mm. But uh, I'll see. I mean, uh, but I still have a therapy session scheduled next week. We'll see how does it go. मतलब I hope you make progress, man. And uh, I think कहीं ना कहीं एक sort of मतलब एटलीस्ट पर्सनली आई फेल दैट टू बी द केस कि एक बार आपको uh, एक वो प्ले बुक मिल जाता है ना कभी कभार कि भाई अच्छा यार इस सिचुएशन में कैसे डील करना था क्या करना था बिकॉज लाइक द फर्स्ट टाइम लाइक वेन आई लॉस माई मदर आई डिड नॉट नो हाउ टू डील विद इट जीरो मतलब एकदम अगेन मतलब लाइक आई थिंक यू वर ऑल्सो सिक्सटीन वैन यू लॉस्ट योर फादर बट लूजिंग योर फादर इज अ होल अदर थिंग बिकॉज यू नो बिकॉज ऑफ हाउ सोसाइटी वर्क बट in time i think that emotional maturity that being able to you know and that is something i think from day one has been like visible in our conversations ki jab aap mock interview ke liye bhi aaye the hamare paas to i think you were very you were one of i think hamare panel mein uh, jo ek wo sir hai uh, vikas narayan sir 
is a retired dgp so he was very clear the moment he mo- mo- <laughs> you know went out of the room he is like he is ready to serve tomorrow to kahi na kahi wo mental maturity aapki hamesha dikhai di hai to like moving on from there <laughs> ye mental maturity ho gayi ye sari cheeze ho gayi there is another key skill that you have which is very very important which is clarity of expression so how did that come about ki how do you become such a clear thinker because this is something that i've heard so many times from so many people now about you ki aapka koi bhi wo interview dekh rahe hain ya jaise humne bhi kuch aapke mock interview ki shorts dale hain everywhere you have a very clear way of going from the start to the end you're very clear in your thinking you're very clear in the way that you answer how did that come about i think matlab that matlab must not be a single thing that would have helped Mm. but i think as a person very logical i mean uh while while probably like to give an instance well while the last two years when it was extremely difficult and very naturally a lot of bad thoughts would come literally every mm. day i used to tell myself ki stop abhi i'll allot 30 minutes per day to overthink mm. so i used to dedicate 30 minutes of my life for last two years 10 30 to 11 just to overthink so every time there's something that would come in my mind ki mm. what if this happens what if the report would say this what would what if this would be the newer side effect i'll stop my brain and say nahi abhi ruk jao i'll see and read about like we'll read about this we'll think about this in those 30 minutes mm. so think uh, as a person i was very logical mm. and that came up i think with a lot of activities i was doing in school and college i was always a debater Uh, I think debating had helped me, especially in an idea or kela. I was doing parliamentary debating. So every time we used to make an argument, we were taught to ask why, mm. why to everything. Like you are making an argument, then ask why, mm. and then ask why to that again. The answer you got to the previous question. Mm. So that would have tuned me a person who would always find to try to find logical answers. The mm. al- always a flow chart would come in every day to day activities in my life. so i think that would show thoda subconsciously that i am having a clear chain of thoughts mm. but but i i personally don't see because it, it's it's in my head it's always very clouded mm. and i try to unwind things as much as possible so i think there's a like very simple step wise development of expertise ka ladder that i mention quite often ki you go from unconscious incompetence to conscious incompetence to conscious competence and finally to unconscious competence right okay yeah step 1 being ki bhai i'm not even aware of the mistakes that i'm making correct then you at least become aware of the ki bhai acha ye galti kar rahe hai and bhai jab main dhyan deke baat kar raha hu to then main sahi baat kar raha hu you i think because of your parliamentary debates and i think coding ke karan kyunki kahin na kahin aap ek logic machine ke sath din mein 8 ghanta bitaoge to wo aapke dimag mein कुछ तो छाप छोड़ता है तो डू यू थिंक डूइंग कॉम साइंस आल्सो मेड यू अ मोर लॉजिकल पर्सन और डिड इट जस्ट ब्रिंग आउट द थिंग्स दैट वर ऑलरेडी देयर वुड बी आई थिंक आल्सो बिकॉज़ द करिकुलम वाज इतना डिमांडिंग टू कोड एंड वर्क विद एल्गोरिथम्स एंड एवरीथिंग सो एंड आई थिंक अभी भी आई थिंक इन अ वे इन इफ एल स्टेटमेंट और इन अ फॉर लूप विद कि ये डिलीमिटर लगेगा एंड एवरीथिंग सो यस सो दैट वुड हैव हेल्प्ड एज़ वेल so have you tried applying any algorithms to your life ki bhai uh, to try and sort of simplify some decision uh, like do you have a girlfriend abhi no i don't okay so when you had a girlfriend in the past did you potentially select uh, <laughs> you know <laughs> no but but not this but mm. uh, not like while for girlfriend but jab when i was searching for home mm. uh, and i would see 10 different houses mm. and everything i made an excel and uh, scored them like from location to yevo and everything and then it was a very simple algorithm but then that would tell me ki at like kitna acha hai for this this i'd score them in different parameters and everything mm. and uh, then it would tell me what is the ideal house that i should pick up while i was renting a place so did you do anything similar in terms of civil services prep how did you maintain a track of ki prep kahan chal rahi hai kya ho raha hai I tried to uh, do a lot of uh, Excel sheets, ki uh, weekly target, monthly target, and color code in a way. 
but that never got followed religiously but i always used to try ki ho jaye but i think i did that during the uh, prelims test series i was giving for the four months mm-hmm. then i used to score uh, keep a track of subject wise how, how much i'm scoring and mm. uh, what's the improvement accuracies levels across the papers that i tried to but matlab thoda more religiously but i don't think that also happened in a way that uh, should have been mm. and once i i think i wrote a very lengthy script and made visual edition after the prelims results were out mm. and i was very bored uh then uh, for like a day i wrote a python script to analyze everything with my prelims marks prelims expectation subject wise mm. topic wise how many wrongs how many i should not have made wrong so i think that day i would have made a very beautiful visual edition out of my prelims actual uh, test scores so yeah and also like for example in preparation uh, later part mein, between prelims and mains mein, i used to train uh, UPSC content with uh, GPT plugins and uh, LLMs <laughs> RAG model ke so mm. that if I want to get an instance uh, answer mm. I'll, I'll be able to uh, get that or in a more crisper usi, usi content if I train it and want to get an answer mm. so that also I try so yeah algorithms have that been that GPT jo aap use kar rahe ho, ya... Adversarial networks have used kar rahe ho pe. So, how did that help with your mains preparation? Mother, what exactly uh, did you do and how did it help? If it helped? So, one thing which extremely helped, I think, is like direct chat GPT, the normal way, just say everyone does this. Mm. Usse I used to ask uh, ki, uh, for sociology, ki, mm. assume yourself as a sociology postgraduate and you want to answer uh, on this topic from a sociological point of view. Uh, so give me some fresh thinkers international and nationally mm. India perspective say on topics like let's say artificial intelligence or mm. same sex marriage Joki usually it's not there in any of these books or coaching materials mm. but I wanted them to be like just be mentioned in point wise way so that I can just replicate that in my notes. So for those things mains preparation had used uh, chat GPT uh, for a lot of things. But but for example, the REG model, retrieval, augmented, and generate model that mm. I was speaking about, there is there's a very lengthy PDF of of something, and I need a summarized version of that, or I just want that that to be presented in a more concise way, presented in a way that I want that to be. Then I have to read the PDF, and then the uh, PDF, then the REG algorithm works on top of the content. The PDF parts would have happened. And then I'll just ask, I'd, I'd made a chatbot and stream it on that. Mm. He, uh, and then ask question, whatever I want, the way I want the content to be presented to me. That would have helped, but I think it's still not there. It, it was uh, at one point, at one point of time, it felt gimmicky also. He, malab, I'm just doing it because it's looking fun. Mm. But I say it's a padai ni ori. But uh, abhi, if in hindsight, I think I, I'll mm. be able to do much better with with the kind of newer development that has happened in general mm. but uh like direct what, chat what did you have in mind like what would you do now like for example if somebody is preparing for mains this year so how can they improve on the thing that you did i mean you can extensively use chat gpt in uh you know gs content as well and mm. uh, like innovative points and everything uh with with gpt4 with the more latest uh data it's being trained on uh, but the REG one, obviously, I understand everybody won't have a comp science background, so it mm. becomes difficult. But but now, if if I would have been able to give a next attempt, thankfully I do not have to. But uh, <laughs> if I would have to, then I'll segregate the content in a more organized way so that I could make the training and everything mm. fine tuning of the models in a more uh, more elegant way. So, uh, did you make your own notes for mains? Yeah. Yeah, and hmm. topic wise, like I have like topic wise GS1 to GS4 what, optional. Achha, mala, what were the topics that you chose? Mala, syllabus? Uh, so, yes, mala, syllabus topics, but then I had taken a program from one of the uh, institutes which which had a program called Samachar Manthan, hmm. where they used to give me weekly PDFs hmm. of the current affairs. So, so I used to make notes based on that weekly PDF. Mm. But that will be made more or less based on some topic of some GS. And uh, organically for like, uh, since I did that for 50 weeks and I used to g- give tests 
on those uh, weekly PDFs content for uh, from February to December to 2022. So I would have written 50 half half tests every Sunday. Hmm. So organically, my notes got built up while I was uh, making notes from those weekly PDFs. Yeah. And last ke one two months me November December ke time pe I would sit I sat down and saw ki on which topics I do not have notes. So I referred to main 365 of 2022, hmm. like the previous year, and uh, like picked up the notes from there. Okay. Uh, so so that way, I, I, like consciously, I had this in mind that topic wise A4 sheet pe I'll have notes, hmm. and the notes should not be in a way ki so if I'm putting down the facts and figures and uh, the content, but like it should be an answer format. So there has to be this value addition material of articles, Supreme Court judgments, committee recommendations, mm. any case study example, data, data points, everything. And then the pros, cons, overview part of it, the mm. way forward and all. So I used to try to compress that in an A4 sheet for most of the topics that I was making notes in. Like for example, was consciously there. if we take up one particular topic, uh, let's say parliament, it's functioning and, uh, you know, evaluation of that functioning. So what would your notes look like for that particular piece? So, so parliament, I, I would low key like from, there's a different demand from a, a prelims point of view where it would be a lot of technical things with parliament. But from means it would be like issues with parliaments. Mm. What can be done with parliamentary system? What mm. could be better than th that? So more on those levels. Ki issues mein there are like 10, 11 points mm. with the data. Ki this is attendance uh, and uh, like so and so whatever the issues would be. Uske data would be there at the parallel mm. and there would be half a page would be ki committee recommendations. What would have been given for this? Mm. Uh, any best case for any international model where parliament would work like this, which could be adopted here. So this that would not mean I'll write about now zero hour, question mm. hour. Those were not part of my main notes. Those okay. were something that was like mostly prelims note that I made. Uh, Did you make notes? I made it just two, three months before uh, the actual prelims. After I would have read Lakshmikan four or five times. Mm. Only those portions which I would feel that I'd forget this. And those mm. portions, I knew that I'll need a revision before a week of the exams. So it was like a, a five, seven, eight pages of Lakshmikan notes. What? Only those things which I had not internalized. Like very small things like uh, who can uh, uh, file a P like. Uh, on what subjects PIL can be filed or Got things it. like that, which are very, which, which you can't remember. Like ah, at least I could chota, chota minute details. Exactly. Hai, very minute details. exactly. So on, or kis pe the special majority hota hai, which topics hmm. pe exactly those 10, 11 things. So well, the very minute things, but which I knew ki I would need last minute review. Last minute review. Kyunki yaar ye wala cheez to main bhool jaunga. Mota, mota exactly. I will remember, but yes. uh, to, like, what was the sort of combined length of your prelims ka notes all subjects not more than 50 pages means means would be more extensive i would say uh gs one two three four if you add it more than 200 pages two two fifty and pages. social social would be i think around 200 pages okay and uh well you have gs classes kai sali thi so like एक जो बहुत core question आता है ना कि जैसे किसी भी project पे आप निकलते हो तो भी मतलब how do I course correct how do I know I'm going in the right direction मतलब what was that course corrector for you so uh, since I started giving these weekly half length tests and I used to get the scores but then there was no one who like to compare half length tests as in mains का mains का हाँ so there was no way I could compare कि uh, whether what I've like if I'm getting uh, 40 out of 125, then 40 hai nahi, 50 out of 125, hai nahi. I was uh, uh, assigned a mentor because mm. that was a mentorship program I had enrolled in. He used to just tell me that uh, you're on the right track. Mm. You're acha kar rahe ho So that was just my one source of assurance that you're doing well. Okay. But I used to have this self doubt uh, self doubt. Ki I was almost sure that I'm reading inadequate number of hours I'm putting is extremely less. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if my test scores are well, but I think I improved up over the years since I'd given 50 tests, the kind of confidence I had the first test, 
as compared to the 30th test and then the 50th test that internally i could see mm. the marks also got improved uh, the speed accuracy presentation everything i could make a sense ki there's a change gradually steadily but i could see there's something that i'm doing i'm feeling comfortable with writing so mm. i think that's how it felt a bit reassuring so uh, would you say that by writing things they also became clearer to you for sure i mean everything that i was reading until less i was not able to write i well i just scribbled down mm. i don't think i was able to uh, comprehend that because uh, i was a working professional so initially it, it used to feel like i'll do everything digitally so any time i'm getting a break coffee break mm. or a, a lunch break i'll just read my ever notes or one note mm. but i just could not do that i could not memorize and internalize when i was making notes digitally mm. so i'll have to at least scribble that down somewhere mm. so that i'm i'm internalizing it in myself and like how did you like just say humne baat kari abhi ki you had about 200 pages of gs ka notes and 200 pages of socio ka notes how many times did you revise these notes uh i would revise them every time i was giving a weekly test mm. so that used like that's like fresh note making and then revising it to give the test mm. uh but before prelims i had given uh, one round of full length test of all the subjects the sectional full length test mm. of all the subjects so i had revised those notes at least once before the prelims and gave gave test on that mm. and then uh, between prelims and ma- mains i had uh, given a uh, full length test in four uh, series like mm. ek baar gs 1 2 3 4 i studied and gave test then these like the step control four times so okay. at least four times again i would have revised them. okay so like for you i think going sequentially worked a lot better rather than kyunki bahut log kya karte hai ki they'll club gs1 ki they'll give two tests of gs1 then they'll move to gs2 then they'll move to gs3 then they'll move to gs4 but i think this idea which personally i also used to prefer ki sare ek bar kar lo yaar kyunki at least tumhare dimag mein to check box jayega na ki ha ek bar hi ho gaya correct so did you maintain these sorts of checklists in your prep i did as in I'm a person. I did not have any inclination that अच्छा GS one में अच्छा करना है या फिर I I saw a lot of people asking me कि how did you uh, uh, did you prepare ऐसा sociology में also कि chapter one two three में ऐसा options आता है and you prepared chapter two and three बहुत अच्छे से and chapter one not uh, mm. थोड़ा अच्छे से but I think as a person I had always कि I have to tackle everything. Mm. and isile gs1 gs2 gs3 gs4 it never felt ki this is something that i'm stronger at and i'll do it in a better way for me the checklist was sab ko address karna hai so if you see my marks also like abhi now it's making sense but uh, in none of the subjects i would have scored the highest among mm. all neither in sa neither in gs1 2 3 4 or optional mm. but i would be probably the second topper and third topper in every of these papers because i did not have an inclination towards any of any single hmm. thing and i just wanted to cover everything taki har cheez mein the attention would be equal so if you had to let's say abstract level pe agar hum baat kare so what would be those basic habits that animesh as an individual had that enabled this that you know you're not the topper in any one but you're in the top 5% of like all subjects so like what were the habits or what is the process of animesh that enabled him to do this i think two things first is my consistent answer writing like test giving not answer writing i mm. used to give the test in stipulated time and in that environment uh, inside my home mm. so that i continued for 50 uh, odd weeks so that must have helped for sure weeks and this is almost a year yes mm. uh, 48 tests i would have given so it's like february to december Mm. Uh, plus minus few weeks uh and then uh, i think the second one everything that i was picking up to read and every any any material or any validation material or any standard books i was studying i was studying from the point of view ki isse how would i clear the exam mm. primarily and secondarily to gain knowledge mm. it's not like ki i'm reading lakshmika and these portions i'll just read it and memorize mm. it and internalize it but also subconsciously think if question come from these portion from panchayati raj so how do i use this information mm. so this was always in that zone in exam giving mode and not mm. like to enrich myself with knowledge 
सो द नोट मेकिंग पर से और द रीडिंग ऑफ द मटीरियल वॉज ऑलवेज फ्रॉम द पॉइंट की हाउ वुड दैट नॉलेज रिफ्लेक्ट इन दो थ्री पेजेस और टू पेजेस ऑफ मेन्स आंसर ओके एंड लाइक आई थिंक अब जैसे कमिंग फ्रॉम दी अदर साइड ऑफ इट मतलब आई रिसेंटली कंज्यूम लाइक ऑलमोस्ट टेन बुक्स ऑन हाउ टू लर्न लर्निंग हाउ टू लर्न एक्स वाई जी एंड दिस थिंग दैट यू वेरी सिंपली पुट कि भाई हर बार जब भी आप पढ़ रहे हो तो यूर लुकिंग एट इट एज इफ कि भाई पेपर में क्या पूछा जाएगा सो दिस इज वॉट इज असेंशली कॉल्ड एंगेजिंग विद मटीरियल ओके जब भी मैं कुछ पढ़ रहा हूँ तो वेन आई एम एक्टिवली लुकिंग एट इट कि अच्छा यहाँ से क्या क्वेश्चन आएगा तो देन आई एम कम्प्लीटली फोकस्ड ऑन द मटीरियल ऑन दी अदर हैंड देर आर ऑलवेज टाइम्स जब हम लाइक ऐसा चार पन्ने पलट गए हैं बट अभी दिमाग में कुछ नहीं गया चार पन्ने के बाद लाइक सडनली लग रहा है यार ये तो पलट तो गया बट लाइक पता नहीं है क्या हुआ है True, 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 very true. Hmm. Uh, I, I mean, obviously, I did not get it for the first time as reading, but then it made sense hmm. uh, because I started giving tests very initially in my preparation. I understood it's very important that you write whatever it's in your head and not hmm. just uh, keep on adding uh, to the entire bucket of your uh, knowledge resource bucket. Hmm. But but always have have in mind that whatever I'm gaining insights about, I'll have to put that on paper. Mm-hmm. so as you said ki engaging with the material was extremely important and like what else how did you revise what was like your revision schedule like be weekly revise karte the monthly karte the like how did that happen uh for for longer long part of time i used to revise weekly like sunday mm-hmm. for 3/4th uh, of the time would go only for revising everything that i had covered mm-hmm. for the entire week mm-hmm. so i think i used to do weekly revision but revision used to be extremely boring uh i think i would have searched a lot on reddit and quora how do people revise for upsc uh but but i try to at least uh, revise hmm. uh, once in a while. Uh, weekly i used to try and but fair- like again uh isme i would like love a little clarification from you because you were also working candidate to ek to tumko waise hi saturday sunday do din mila hai abhi wo do din mein se bhi ek din to pura revision ka nikal rahe ho sunday because sunday used to be the test day hmm. for me which was 1.5 hours तो उसके अलावा आई टू नॉट स्टडी एनीथिंग न्यू एंड रिवाइज ओनली द थिंग्स तो मैं हफ्ते में छुट्टी थी क्या कोई नो आई हैड सैटरडे संडे वाज द ओनली छुट्टी अरे नहीं आई हैड नॉट टेक आई हैड नॉट टेक आई हैड नॉट टेकन एनी एक्सटेंडेड लीव्स फॉर द प्रिपरेशन और एनीथिंग आई एम आल्सो आस्किंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ कि जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल द पीपल हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फुल टाइम तो भी उनके लिए दिस इज आल्सो लाइक अ एट टू टेन आवर का जॉब ऑन अ डेली बेसिस राइट तो जनरली व्हाट आई एडवाइज इज ऐसे कि एक दिन छुट्टी ले लो संडे एक्स एज अ ब्रीदर गिव्स यू सम स्पेस गिव्स यू सम पर्सपेक्टिव बट फॉर यू ऑब्वियसली बिकॉज यू आर इन अ जॉब ऑलमोस्ट फोर्टी फिफ्टी आवर्स अ वीक राइट मतलब एट टू टेन आवर्स फाइव डेज अ वीक फाइव डेज था सिक्स था फाइव फाइव राइट तो फिफ्टी आवर्स वहीं गए हैं बचे तुम्हारे पास करीब तीस एक घंटे हैं और वो तीस घंटे में देर इज नो आ द ब्रेक did you socialize did you like go out during your prep time anything of that sort i mean i did not have to be- i matlab i could not because uh, every month i had to go and visit a uh, visit hospitals hmm. because that was something that was i mean uh, and a lot of times it was planned a lot of times it was an emergency so uh, i could not socialize a lot i i think i had gone to only one trip after the prelims was over Hmm. just after the prelims was over and just after the mains were over hmm. uh, but apart from that i was trying to seclude myself as much as possible did that bother so, you a lot a lot because i was a very very as a social Oops. butterfly hmm. and very extroverted and i was active on instagram and i used to check pe- what people are doing <laughs> and uh, yes how it, did you it, deal with this then i just felt ki i don't know i just felt ki theek hai ab uh, Uh, I mean, I accepted it. Ki nahi hai time. I I can't do this. Hmm. But once in a while, I used to go uh, wherever I want to and take half a day break and things like that. So uh, and I think for how often two, did those half a day breaks come? Once a month, once in two months? Uh, twice in a month. Fair and enough. I used to I used to watch Big Bang Theory every single day. that that used to to uh, help me uh, rewind and that was something that I used to take break for rewind 20, unwind. 20 minutes unwind sorry <laughs> unwind yeah so I think therapy, well, I, uh, this is what's called grounding right 
ये <laughs> बारह <laughs> everything that was tougher with preparation felt always trivial to as compared to what i was going through with mass treatment so it never felt ki I, i my scores are declining or i'm not being able to revise properly or uh, i mean those were times when i used to feel that but that is so extremely small as compared to the fear and anxiety with cancer it's such a ugly disease and it takes everything away from you yes. so so all my thoughts anxiety overthinking was based on mass treatment and i used to also constantly search on google and everything and uh, i was very active on cancer reddit sub mm. so yeah so that used to consume a lot of my time emotionally uh, it never occurred the low phases were not mostly for preparation now i think now that you put it in that manner ki you know uh, in front of cancer everything else seemed trivial so now i get that i sort of like you know understand where you're coming from kyunki bahut bar logo ko lagta hai ye boring hai ye hai wo hai and like x y z but sometimes that contrast is just it blows you out of the water exactly and uh, i think my mother also passed away from cancer and like wo wahi wali cheez hoti hai na ki cancer like there are the benign kinds and then there are the metastasizing kinds and this the level of helplessness that you feel with that disease is it's hard man and mm-hmm. so matlab uh, coming back to more earthly matters uh socio ke liye kahan se aapne prep kari how did you study where did you learn was it something that you had studied before in college or scratch se apne aap hi shuru kiya tha so college there was one paper uh, in one of the se- second semester like, second year mein third semester mein or mm. fourth semester mein uh, social movements in india hmm. so then i got introduced to sociology as an academic subject hmm. so fir uh, in the eighth semester and while i was transitioning from college to uh, office then i thought ki what should be optional and then i was confused between maths and socio but then felt ki maths is extremely lengthy to cover hmm. and nahi ho payega ek saal mein and so socio became naturally the second favorite because i liked the subject hmm. syllabus and uh, then i went through the ncert also once just read it like end to end but did not make notes or anything just read it mm. and uh, ha- half of things obviously i couldn't understand but whatever i understood felt that it will be interesting and i can carry on with this for longer part mm. and uh, i had purchased horlumbers purchased lot of the standard books that a lot of people suggest i i would have read horlumbers for 2 uh, 3 pages or like 10 12 pages but uh, that had purchased before shifting to delhi like mm. one month before shifting i still have not brought that to delhi so i don't have that book with me i had mm. not i did not have the book for the entire two years then i realized and then also initially i start, started watching sleepy classes videos uh, the paper one videos mm. just to get through the idea ki what is the subject like uh, then i got introduced to thinkers bhi hote hain kuch scholars hote hain and all 
but then my main preparation started with socio it, i understood that i would not be able to read it go through any lectures because the lectures would be extremely lengthy mm. i relied on uh, neha bhosle all in rank 15 of couple of years back in the notes yeah so unke notes were my base notes for both paper and paper two very comprehensive notes mm. but wherever there used to be doubt especially in topics like parsons mead mm. which are extremely technical even marx is a lot of concepts used to mm. be very technical for them i used to randomly uh, google youtube or google something or uh, look upon uh, youtube and try to understand it as much as possible but then there will always be self doubt ki i'm not treating it in a more technical way it's always surface mm. surface level pe ho raha but uh, i did mostly from neha bosle ma'am's notes and jahan jahan pe it used to feel ki the notes are inadequate the thinkers are inadequate i used to just google and char panch jo bhi tabs aate the and i used to just mix up things and then make my own notes mm. uh, like 80% would be neha bosle ma'am's end to end notes and then value additions of here and there that i would make okay. so that used to my notes making and the preparation and then i had taken two test series uh one before prelims and one after prelims Which so i done a uh, one before prelims one i taken reliable and valid they have a telegram channel mm-hmm. i taken there which is not a test series per se it was a sociology mentorship program where they made me write three answers per day or four answers per day for two long months mm. so that i got into the practice of writing sociology answers mm. and then after prelims i had joined uh, vision eyes is uh, test series so uh, vision eyes test series answers had incorporated a lot uh, the model answer had incorporated and enriched my notes out of that mm. and uh, chat gpt as i said i had used for a lot of topics at the end mm. and for paper 2 especially uh, since i have like more marks in paper 2 than paper 1 I think what would have made a difference is that I realized that Indian Express me abhi bhi a lot of these thinkers are writing like the thinkers that I'm quoting are still alive and writing and act- active. So for last two months before means I started reading their articles in Indian Express mm. and uh, I just make a snapshot of those two three relevant lines and uh, they used to write on current affairs and वही current affairs more or less आते हैं paper two में. मतलब uh it the courses and all jab nahi bhi the when it was you just talking about upsc and your journey and everything mm. so udhar ke times used to watch so when you see ki when i was uh, unwinding so mm. a part of us also looking at those videos ki mm. when when somebody is it's 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 gyan but also not gyan matlab mm. a lot of times you in upsc a lot of people just try to give advices and for me i used to hate all these advices and top word talks because i used to feel ki they are not in my shoes mm. i have i have a lot going on my plate and wo to sirf preparation ka bata rahe and i i can't just bear with that mm. but somewhere i mean i'm just not trying to flatter you or something but those crisper videos of yours about exams or the strategy or the minute things that i have to keep in mind made a lot of sense mm. so i used to come back to those videos again and again and uh, i used to see them and but then i had come across your seaside videos hmm. uh just before the prelim because uh, i realized ki i cannot completely rely on maths because in couple of test series i had scored in 80s hmm. and it frightened me and then i saw the entire playlist of comprehension hmm. uh of upsc prep and i had seen couple of uh, topper talks as well uh as i I've, like the other day was mentioning vikram sir was one of my hmm. favorites So I had seen a lot of topper talks because it's not a usual topper talk. As mm. I said, it's not Gyan. So I used to look forward to topper talks. Jahan pe it's not ki ye resource list hai, ye kya ho mm. kya. It used to feel I can't follow your resource. Ap ap rakho apna. Hmm. But I think uh, sort of one of the reasons why topper talks and all started with us also was because I also got bored of the same thing again. So, <laughs> 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 but I. make it a point sometimes to try and uh, have a conversation with the people but again 
sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't sometimes somebody wants to just share their list and be done with it sometimes people want to share a story so somewhere or the other i think uh, tumne mention kiya ki vikram grewal ke sath jo wo episode tha that was probably the first episode of uh, those co- kinds of discussions that i'd ever done and god damn matlab us i was just an impatient guy <laughs> nahi i mean the way it came out the video is extremely uh as you said it was very fresh hmm. and i had followed uh, his blog also before and i was i was a constant uh, follower of his post on his blog so and also the way uh, you moderated the the entire uh, interview on the podcast was extremely fresh hmm. and i'm soothing i would say <laughs> so fresh is a nice way to put it because uh, sort of the most frequent comment that i got on that particular video was like bhaiya shant ho jao samne wale ko bolne do no i don't think i i felt it that way again matlab see there are uh, ways to look at it and bhai wali cheez hoti hai na ki tumhe kisko sunna hai do you want to hear the conversation or do you want to hear one person speak so that is also sort of what brings out uh, these sorts of things true but in the end i think uh, ये अब भाई मोर एंड मोर दी सोर्ट्स ऑफ पीसेस कंटेंट ये चलता रहेगा आता रहेगा कहीं ना कहीं एक सेल्फ uh, रियलाइजेशन वाली बात आती है व्हिच आई थिंक यू हैव बीन वन ऑफ दोज इंडिविजुअल्स हु इज एक्सट्रीमली सेल्फ अवेयर सो आई एग्री हाउ डू दिस आई लव दैट आई एम नॉट श्योर आई आई यूज्ड टू जर्नल नॉट रेगुलरली बट आई हैड दिस थॉट ऑफ एवरी टाइम आई हैव टू फील हेवी आई हैव टू राइट दैट डाउन and process what i'm feeling and mm. accepting whatever is coming in my mind and i think as a person extremely non judgmental mm. which which across the years i have been especially after i joined nid rorkela so i think the self awareness came from being very uh, accepting towards a lot of things not having stereotypes and uh, just just accepting your thoughts but this this is something that i have realized myself that i'm very self aware mm. about everything about my thoughts about the way i'm acting the a way about i'm handling mat- matters and i'm addressing people and everything so i think yes i think i'm very self aware so like uh, jab main chhota hota tha na ek uh, there's a very famous quote also it's not like ki bhai koi aise hi esoteric hai there used to be this quote which is the man who can conquer himself can conquer the world मुझे लगता था बकवास है ये मैं कहा ये 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 किस लेवल का है भैया तुम्हारे पास आर्मी है या तुम्हारे पास कोई पावर है मनी है तो मतलब हाँ तुम कौन कर करोगे सेल्फ को करके फिर तुम क्या कर रहे हो बट आई थिंक एज आई हैव ग्रोन ओल्डर विद एज आई हैव कम टू रियलाइज कि यार इट ऑल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम राइट इन हियर इफ यू कैन कॉन्कर द सेल्फ you will be able to मेनटेन दैट कंसिस्टेंसी यू विल बी एबल टू डू द बोरिंग थिंग दैट्स रिक्वायर्ड टू बी डन and like you know you will be able to push through the hard parts you will be able to enjoy the easy parts and you will be self aware so True. i do hope you know it works out in that way for you because you seem to be a man who has control of himself if he has not conquered himself yet because again it's also an evolving journey for sure and matlab uh, again animesh it was a pleasure talking to you like as i mean i mean uh... I I I think subconsciously this was also one of the targets. That, kabi na kabi, if I in my day, when I was daydream, I used to feel that if ever I used to, uh, I'll be able to clear this. Then I'll I'll talk to you. I mean, I mean I I mean I'm 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 rather romanticizing this, <laughs> but but yeah, I mean uh, I I I I really love talking to you as well, and I love this. I mean, abhi now I'm seeing that it's it's already oh, almost it's a little bit twelve. Hour. yeah but but it did not fell that way yeah so like before we close this is there any advice that you would like to give to the people who are preparing for let's say you know prelims this year for prelims this year like the same old advice keep your resources limited and multiple revisions hmm. but i think at this point of time the anxiety levels the fear and everything rises up a lot so lean on to a support system and be very vocal when you need help and do not shy because it it always tends tends that when like even though you're around your family relatives 
or you have your friends you talk to but sometimes they might not feel what kind of comfort and support you were looking mm-hmm. on that particular day so what i've understood is that uh, it's very important to have a support system and nurture that but also be vocal if you need some particular help on a particular day mm-hmm. so lean on your support system at this particular time i would say before prelims the mental health is something that goes uh, uh, off track so uh, keep that in check and i think uh, that is wonderful advice kyunki kahin na kahin wo mental health hi hai jo paper ke din aapko sane rakhegi what sure and thank you again animesh thank you thank you so much i it was it was extremely uh, pleasurable experience and uh, i mean i think we'll be in touch thank you thank you so much definitely